Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo in Parkway RV Center. And today, guys, let's review a fifth wheel. Uh, now, guys, I haven't done a fifth wheel in a while, and I don't shoot many fifth wheel videos anymore because they uh, they, they get the lowest view count and uh, audience interaction among all the videos that I do. So if you are a fifth wheel fan, guys, do me a huge favor. Smash me a thumbs up before we get into this comment share show us some love guys and show the fifth wheel some love and uh, always of course subscribe to my youtube channel hit the bell notification button as well but anyway back to the review guys just want to point that out this is a 2016 forest river hemisphere light it's the model 368 rl bhk and i three minutes from now i probably won't remember that model number <laughs> but anyway <laughs> so it's got four slide outs this unit is 42 feet long it weighs 11,000 pounds dry weight got a 3100 pound hitch weight so make sure your truck can handle that and um if you're interested in this one's got an outside kitchen it is a multi-room floor plan so it can be used for extra sleeping can be used for a hobby room and office sky's the limit guys you basically got an extra room to do whatever you want to with it and i show you when we go inside looking outside guys it's got the hd max full body paint it has power stabilizer jacks got some outside speakers with led lights outside tv mount does have an outside kitchen with an electric refrigerator in it. It's just right where it's at now. I can't really open it and show it. But it's in good shape. And it's got a rear grill on a swivel mount that will fold out here to the side where you can grill um, and do your thing outside. That's a cool feature to have, guys. Um, I love an outside kitchen. Of course, I can't squeeze back there, but... You know, the corners look good. Everything looks good here. Got awning toppers, got a power awning uh, for the patio area. It's got LED light strips, 50 amp electrical service. I've got it running right now. Both air conditioners are on. I don't see any delamination, any, any cause of concern at all on the outside. For a 16 model, this thing seems to be in very nice condition. Um, 10 gallon DSI water heater runs off gas electric. It is a double axle. Which means you can basically uh, tow it with a three with a four wheel truck instead of having a dually as long as it's rated for the weight. Of course, dually is always better when it comes to fifth wheels. Bigger is better when it comes to tow vehicles. Always want to have too much truck and just barely enough. But um, it is an ex it does have the extended season package. So it is set up to camp longer and possibly year round. Price for $39.9, of course. And uh, guys, y'all give this video some good interaction. I'll, I'll do some more fifth wheel videos for you. I've got quite a few of these out here. 368 RL RL BHK. <laughs> I was trying my best to remember that. I kept, uh, I did two or three takes to start with and I had to delete them because it's like that's not the right bottle number. <laughs> I miss the old days when the model numbers were like 34 RL and that was it. Now they're five, six, seven digits long. You got to try to remember that. Um, 11,000. 38 pounds is the exact dry weight and as we step inside guys wow um that is some cold ac and you've got a nice open rear lounge like i said this is a very versatile floor plan because of that second room and that second room doesn't take anything away from the living room you've got theater seating very comfortable recliners um, and I'm just picking it a little bit, guys. A little bit of wear right there where your head goes against it. That is certainly not worth recovering or replacing those four. Uh, those are about $800 to recover and about $1,200 to replace. And it's not worth that for those few little wear spots. 
got a TV, DVD player built in, CD radio. It's got a fireplace which can which runs off electricity, which you can set for the effect or for an auxiliary 5100 BTU heater. Solid surface, these should be the LG solid surface countertops. Three burner stove top oven, microwave, all stainless steel. It's a nice fifth wheel, guys. Like most of them, shows very little use in the kitchen area. But, you know, that's what you got that outside kitchen for, guys. You don't want to mess up your kitchen. You know, unless, you know, you don't have to. I mean, all the time you want to cook in here is if the weather's bad. That's what this sink looks like. Nice sink. Got a little cutting board that goes over it. I've been noticing they're going more to this um, on these. What's the island kitchen's always great, but I have noticed on the sink covers they're kind of going away from the Corian sink covers because they crack and break so easy, and they're putting these plastic cutting boards, which work great, and you can use it when you're not covering the sink too. Of course, it's got the nice faucet with the sprayer on all that stuff built in. So, table booth makes a bed, which is unusual. Most fifth wheels have table and chairs, so that gives you extra sleeping little extra storage um definitely more of a art deco style interior i guess but not bad it goes good with the dark leather um not a lot of carpet in here at least not in the main walkway you've got vinyl floor it looks great uh, both ACs are ice cold. I mean, there's no... I do like the ceiling fan, too. In fact, I could turn. The light on there. Um, you can see, guys, blowing out some nice cold air out of the roof fence. For what little bit I've had it on. Refrigerator, and this is what I like. It's got a residential 110 refrigerator. And this is what I like about the 110 refrigerators versus the two-way. Of course, everyone's got their pros and cons, of course. But what I like about this, it's already at operating temp. Um, these only need about an hour or so to get to operating temp, where a RV refrigerator can take six to eight hours. Um, you can see the refrigerator's already cold. Six to eight hours. Some of them can take up to 24 hours to get the refrigerator to operating temp. This one, an hour, hour and a half, is ready to throw food in it. In fact, it was probably ready 30 minutes ago to start putting food in it. And, um, of course, you've got drawbacks to this, too, because you can't boondock camp, but most people do not boondock in a fifth wheel. Fifth wheel uh, campers take these to campgrounds where they're shore power. Um, these aren't really made to boondock in. You try some of your some of your travel trailers are, and of course your motorhomes always are. But a fifth wheel is made to take somewhere and plug it up and use it. And got the LED lights. I like this hallway here, and this is your bonus room. Um, this can be used for a variety of purposes. It has a slide out, of course. Um, you can, you know, I know a lot of people are doing work from home right now, and a lot of. Well, my wife, before she became a realtor, she did insurance claims and had an office at home, but it had to be a separate room that was not used for anything else. That was one of their requirements. Well, that's hard to do with the fifth wheel, but not with this one. This would make a home office for in processing insurance claims or whatever else you need to do online. You can take the couch out. Uh, this couch also makes a bed, so this can be a second bedroom. It could be a man cave, a she shed, a hobby room. It can be a variety of purposes. You can sleep, this couch makes a bed that sleeps two, and you've got a fold down bunk up here that'll sleep one more, so you can sleep three in here. So it can be, like I said, a second bedroom. At the foot of the bed, of course you've got a solid residential style um, door. I, I forgot to turn the overhead light on, sorry about that. You got all this extra storage right here too for whatever you need it for. Uh, crafts, um, big tv in here like i said the sky's a limit it, it's pretty much a uh, a loaded out uh, bonus room so you can use it you know for whatever you need to use it for it's here but if you do take the couch out and this bunk out 
uh, make sure you keep the stuff. You can put it back in when you sell it or trade it. It'll be worth more. Uh, when anytime you modify something, if you can modify it back before you trade it or sell it. But we're gonna walk up toward the front and um, look at the bathroom first. Bathroom area has a nice, very comfortable size shower. Um, not tight at all. It's got a skylight. No signs of smoke or pet odor in this entire fifth wheel. I don't see any signs of water damage. It does have the rounded crowned roof. You can see it's not been outside a lot because the shower has not been bleached yellow from the UV rays coming in from the skylight. Uh, got an RV toilet. Got the full holding tanks. Vent fan. Plenty of duct work in here. For heat and air. Does have a furnace, of course. And you've got a very cozy master bedroom up here. Not bad. Now this has got a Queen Island bed. And this doesn't feel like a factory mattress. Somebody has put a upgrade mattress in it. Either that or uh, Forest River has really upped their game in the um, mattress department. But they also, uh, just FYI guys, Forest River is owned by Brookshire Hathaway who also owns, I believe, Simmons Mattress Manufacturer and Tempur-Pedic uh, Tempur mattresses and all that stuff too. So it may be a factory upgrade mattress, I don't know, but it's a queen. But if you look on each side of the bed, uh, there's room to put a wider mattress in here. So you could probably put a king size bed in here if you replace the mattress pretty reasonably if you need a king size bed. But it has a queen now. At the foot of the bed, a lot of chest of drawers, You've got a place for a TV over there in the corner on a swivel mount. You have a good sized closet in the very front. I do like these doors. Let's see here. That's a comfortable mattress. That's gotta be uh, added on uh, just for me sitting on it. It does have washer and dryer hookups for a combo unit. You've got an overhead shelf which I know closet space for hanging clothes isn't as important as it used to be, but still. Um, I know people don't carry dress and suits, but some people have to for bit work. And you do have your second AC in here and it does have a cool jet, so you can dump most of the air from this 13,500 BTU unit directly into the bedroom over the bed. So you want to cool this room off you open that cool jet, you leave that door shut right there, guys, it'll run you out of here. I mean, if you've been outside working in the heat, great place to come in here and cool off. Now, I'm just speaking from experience on that. So let's see here. We can sleep two in the front. You can sleep up to three in the bonus room and four in the back. So if you kept the bonus room with the booth and the couch in here, you can sleep two, four, seven, nine people in this fifth wheel with one, two, three, four, five separate beds. So again, guys, a very versatile fifth wheel floor plan that will serve a variety of needs. And, um, let me know in the let me know in the comments what y'all think about it. I know it's a darker color in here than most of them are, so it may not seem as big as it really is. But it's 368 square feet. That's what that 368 model number means is the interior square footage of this hemisphere, 368 square feet, which is pretty good size for a fifth wheel. 42 feet long, 11,034 pounds, 3,156 pound hitch weight very comfortable uh cozy fifth wheel you know this is great for people who just want a lot of room when they go camping it's great for people who want something to use for a permanent or semi-permanent uh use like full timers or somebody 
who's got property. You know, I own a fifth wheel myself. I keep on some property about a mile from here. And it was a lot cheaper to buy a fifth wheel and put it up there than build a cabin or especially right now with building cost <laughs> and lumber and all that stuff and labor cost. Uh, so, I mean, we got a nice fifth wheel up there. Older one, but it's nice. And, um, And that's going to work for us until stuff gets back to normal. We'll build a cabin up there. But guys, this is a nice unit. It can serve a variety of needs. If it's something you think you're interested in, give us a call at 706-965-7929. The price is $39.9. That is a haggle-free firm price. Uh, we've already checked the slide out. The refrigerator's cold. Air conditioners are cold. It's ready to go, guys. Of course, you know, let us know you're coming. We'll plug it into shore power turn everything on for you and let you inspect it yourself of course before deciding to say yes or no uh, we do guarantee we do a basic inspection on all used rvs which is we make sure the slide outs go in and out uh, like they're supposed to we make sure the refrigerator gets to operating tent we make sure the roof air conditioners get to operating tent and lights work uh tv works but um, um i didn't raise the antenna up or nothing like that so guys come out take a look at it see for yourself this is a nice rig if you're interested give us a call 706-965-7929 with questions or if you want to buy it call before coming to look like i said guys again please give the fifth wheel some love uh please interact with this video as much as you can so you know hey if i get a good response i'll do some more fifth wheels um i like a, honestly i like a fifth i mean motorhomes are always going to be my first uh my first choice when it comes to filming but i love fifth wheels i mean they're just so cool they're comfortable they're cozy um a lot of room great build quality um of course you know i know you got to have a a diesel truck to tow something like this but you know guys this this would make somebody a uh, a very nice fifth wheel and we do have financing available with approved credit and down payment. Uh, we do offer nationwide delivery. So for those of you who have a lot somewhere or have uh, uh, have got a lot reserved at a monthly campground, we can deliver this. It's free up to 100 miles one way. So if you're local, we'll deliver it to you, no charge. Um, within 100 miles, that is. And we offer nationwide delivery. And guys, on delivery, our delivery process is very simple pay us back our cost on it. If it costs us X amount of dollars to take it to you, that's what we charge you guys. We make no profit on delivery. Um, you know, you pay my driver's pay, you pay the fuel. That's pretty much it. We'll give you an estimate. If you want an estimate on delivery charge, it's 706-965-7929. But thank y'all again for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's Saturday, so I usually don't get to do a video on Saturday, but this one, uh, was plugged in so I figured why not plus you know I haven't done a fifth wheel in a, in a few weeks so anyway guys thank y'all for watching again let me know in the comments what you think uh, please subscribe right at 30,000 subscribers I think I'm like 39 away um, from being 30,000 so uh, make sure if you haven't hit the subscribe button go ahead and hit it hit the bell notification button and uh, come visit with us guys got a lot full of fifth wheels you can browse through no you don't have to go with you don't have to be escorted by a salesperson you don't have to go through a sales office to look at these fifth wheels guys everything's open everything's priced i've got anything from i guess 25 foot 26 foot long to uh 42 43 44 feet long and everything in between in a variety of price ranges so come out guys uh, fifth wheel starting as low as eleven thousand nine hundred dollars and um, Got some decent ones Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it guys. Make sure you go to my website parkwayrbcenter.com to see my current inventory Make sure if you don't know what your truck can tow my free interactive tow guide There'll be a link in the video description below so you can look up the exact weight your truck is rated to tow and it will also show you after you look up your truck and get the actual poundage it can tow if you pick, click the button on the lower right hand corner show me rvs i can tow it'll show you everything on my website that your your truck can tow and it doesn't just go by the dry weight it actually has a formula where it adds 
so many pounds for luggage, food, water, propane, things like that on top of the dry weight. So definitely a more accurate representation of what your vehicle can, can tow. And um, of course in the ad on the website will be all the exact measurements, weights and all that stuff, uh, gallons of water it can hold and all the good stuff like that, parkwayrvcenter.com. There'll be a link in the video description below to our fifth wheel page of our website as well. And guys, and if you ever want to know if something's available and you don't want to call, look on the website. It usually gets marked as soon as we take a deposit. It'll say deal pending or if it's sold, closed out, it'll be removed from the website. But still always call just to make sure. 706-965-7929. Thank you all again for watching. I really appreciate it and uh stay tuned for some more videos probably won't do another one today but i'll definitely be here monday morning and uh getting some more stuff on the internet thanks again for watching